What's up my dudes? Welcome back to The Well-Rounded Dude. It's your boy Chris. Today we are gonna make some art. If that sounds interesting, meet me right back here after the jump. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. Please, don't forget to click on that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. We drop a lot of awesome content here. I don't want you guys to miss it. And also, please, social media, like, follow, subscribe, share, all of the good things are right here. Now, before we get into today's video, I should do a little bit of a backstory. My good friend Sarah, you guys remember her from the cologne video that we did. You can see that right there. She does acrylic pour technique. We talked about it a little bit. She decided she was going to show me how to do it, and I figured, why not film it and show you guys? So, it took a little bit of time, it took a couple weeks before we were able to mesh our schedules and dry time for the painting, but that, that's the product that you will see in a few minutes. Alright, so without further ado, let's hop into this week's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of the Well-Rounded Dude, but as you can see today... You are with the Dudette. And we are not in the bunker. <laughs> we are on a well-rounded field trip. <laughs> yes, to Sarah's apartment. <laughs> yes. You guys remember our foxy dudette, Sarah? Hi. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Today, we are going to make some art. Ta-da! Something, some creation, something like that. <laughs> yes. She's going to show me how to do this, guys, and you get to watch it. Because part of being a well-rounded dude is not just, you know, ball powder and uh, <laughs> men's skincare and hair products. It's, it's also... Arts it's, and crafts. It's arts and crafts, and knowing how to do that will make you a well-rounded dude. We talk a lot about that on the channel, and today we're going to live up to it. All right? All so, right. Walk us through it. What am I going to do first? Okay. First, we have to mix the paint. Okay. Um, and basically... What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna take this canvas and we're gonna cover it with paint and swipe it down here and um, it's gonna reveal a beautiful design. Ooh. But we just kind of slop it all on there to begin with. But we can't use just any old paint. We take our acrylic paint and we mix it with a mixing medium. This is actually a paint extender that I get at Lowe's or Home Depot. So I'm not some artsy craft store, just any old Home Depot will do. Okay. And we're gonna start with pouring this into the cups. You have to strain it first because it is can be chunky. So, um, okay. I gotta mix it a little. There you go. All right, that should be good. Okay. Yeah. And then you're gonna wanna pour, I mean, pour it to up to about like maybe there, in okay. there and just let it strain through. Okay. Okay, that's good. And this is gonna be our white paint. I may need to have you add, oh, we're gonna do it in all the cups. Okay. So don't, don't be putting that cap back on yet. Okay. And actually add a little bit more. Okay. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we watch it strain through. It's a beautiful process. You gotta make it so the camera can see. It's like an hourglass, you know? Okay. <laughs> now these other cups here, we're not gonna do quite as much paint. We're gonna we want them probably about maybe halfway full. Okay. So, let's move the strainer over. Okay, dump that in. Say we'll when. Dump. When. <laughs> Did you see the little chunk that just went in there? Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, for being a paint extender and like it's supposed to like improve flow, it's got chunks in it, which makes zero sense to me, but Run it through a lovely paint strainer. Okay, now that one's starting to get chunky, so 
here. We're just gonna speed this up a little bit. There. <laughs> Tiddly bit. Or a scooch. Isn't scosh? Is that is that the man term for like a little bit? I thought that's a lumber term. There's actually a man term for a small amount. We won't say that here. <laughs> I probably don't want to know. No. Don't want to know. Okay. And that one's good. And now pour in there. This one I'm just folding up because we're pretty much done with it. Okay. And go. Okay. So Sarah, how long have you been doing this? I started doing this about a year ago. Um, I used to sing in bands. And then I had a baby, so life had to change. <laughs> so I needed to find a hobby that was a, a little quieter, um, that kept me home on the weekends and during the week. <laughs> okay. So I started, uh, I, I don't know, I had heard about this acrylic pouring and uh, I watched some YouTube videos and a lot of trial and error and uh, until I finally figured out what I was doing, I added a little tilly bit more in there. Okay. But yeah, I've been doing it a, about a year and uh, that's perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. And I started posting the pictures on Facebook. People actually liked it, so I started selling it. So yeah, I do that. Awesome. It doesn't pay all the bills, but... <laughs> it gives you fun money. It gives me some fun money. It basically, I, you know, I could charge more, but I basically get to paint for free, is how I look at it. Okay, so we have added... This is our, our base. Now we have to add the color to it. So we'll start... You can open that up. And Chris chose this color palette. We're going with red, black, and white. And uh, should we tell them what's, what's gonna be on the final picture? We're gonna have a big Bat logo on there because you guys know I'm an unapologetic Batman fan. And I like the red, black, and white. As you can tell, that's our well-rounded dude colors. It is. Yeah. It, that just rung a bell for me. Move on to our next shade of red. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, let me check the top before <laughs> we even like get started. Yeah, that one's good. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good. And then we're gonna do the black. So you can go ahead and put that in. Now that's gonna be more of a, it's a liquid acrylic. Okay. Just warning you. So what's the difference between? Um, they're all acrylic paints, just some of them, um, it, it's a soft body paint, which just means it's not gonna thicken my paint that as much. Okay, okay. that's good. They're high pigmented paints, um, which means just that they hold their color in like, for example, if I used cheap black paint and mixed it with all of this mixing medium, it wouldn't be black, it would be gray. Gotcha. But because I get highly pigmented paint, it's still dark black. Oh yeah. Now, um, here, I'll go ahead. And we can go ahead, you can start mixing all of these and you wanna mix them really well. One thing I like about this type of paint painting is mm -hmm. it doesn't take any real like skill per se. As I'm stirring, it reminds me of. Uh, do you remember 
Lifesavers cream savers. Do you remember those? <laughs> no. I don't know if I, oh wait, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it kind of looks like that. Yeah, and the texture. Well, yeah. I compare it to melted ice cream. I can see that. I definitely can see it's that. It's kind of that consistency is what you want. And like if you use like heavier paints, it's going to be too thick. Um, because you want the, the paint to flow on your canvas there. Now, here is the secret. The silicone oil, also known as Cell Magic. Cell Magic. Or you can use treadmill oil or plain old silicone oil. Okay. <laughs> so um, basically all this is is silicone. We are gonna add, now the white is gonna be our base. So I'm not going to add any to that. Okay. But we are going to add two drops to each of these. Now it comes out. I did three there. <laughs> <laughs> Try to do two and you don't have to squeeze the bottle at all. Just tip it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you did three too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Two to three drops <laughs> is fine. Okay. Three. Yeah. Yep, three. Okay, okay, I give up. That's it. Three drops. <laughs> I failed. And then we want to mix this in. All right. So we've got our paints mixed. Now we can move on to the canvas. Now what we're going to do here. This is where you may want to don gloves. Okay. This can get a little messy. Um, Cause what we're gonna do, well, what you're going to do, yeah, take the watch off. Yeah, we can't, <laughs> can't get that wrecked. <laughs> you're gonna take this paint and basically we want like from here up covered in paint. Um, and I can, I can help you with that part <laughs> because it does take a little maneuvering. Um, okay. You wanna get your edges covered as well. Um, you're definitely gonna get paint on the table. That's what the tablecloth is for. Um, but that's gonna be our next step. Okay. So, uh, so from like here up? Yep. Okay. Yep, like the top third. Okay. You can start to tilt the canvas and you see how it's getting smoother there. Yeah, you're coating it, I see. Yep. All right. You put it down? Yep, you can set that down. All right. Okay, now. This is where the fun part happens. So what you're gonna do on the rest of this canvas, you did most of them, but you're probably not gonna get too messy. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna just kind of spread your, the two shades of red and the black. Um, one thing I've been doing kind of is like, I'll do like, um, yeah, I'm gonna lay down a little more white here. And what I think I'm gonna have you do is like zigzag the red. I've been doing like lines of color, if that makes sense. Like maybe do red, then black, then some red. Okay. And black. selling that I'm keeping. <laughs> it all goes on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Where can they find you? They can find me at singing Sarah 82 slash Facebook.com. Is that how what my address is? 
Yeah, yeah, or if you're comfortable, we could tell them your name and they oh, can... Oh, yeah, just look me up. It's Sarah Gardner, G-A-R-D-N-E-R, -E and that would be in Farmington, New York. Now, I won't give you my exact address because I know... It'll be listed in the description. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 Only Chris knows my exact address. <laughs> Her phone number will be there too, guys. <laughs> Not dating. Nope. <laughs> that ship has sailed. That's how I ended up with a child. <laughs> well, Done dating now. <laughs> okay, now um, let's. We want some white in there too, so we've got some white left in the cup. Okay. And just kind of splatter it wherever you want. Okay. Yep. Um, you can use the stick, you can pour it. It just, it's, that's the beauty of, of this kind of art. There's, I can, I there's no wrong way. It. You can splatter it. I can yep. splatter it. If it wants to come off the stick. <laughs> Look at all this <laughs> angsty splattering I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> They actually, they've, they, oh, there's so many different techniques. There's one that they, where you can put the canvas on a spinner, mm -hmm. like a, a Lazy Susan or uh -huh. a cake spinner, and you pour paint on it, and then you just whip it around, and the paint goes everywhere. I would love to try it, but I would, like, need to be in, like, maybe your house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At the bunker, huh? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it here. Of course uh -huh. not. Maybe we could do it at my mom's house. Yeah, there you go. Diana would love that. No. Love it. If you guys want to see that, drop a like and a comment on this. Painting at Diana's. And watch me get disowned by my mother. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything laid out. You've got the edges covered. It actually, everything looks really, really good. Um... I'm gonna add a little more. We're gonna do just a little white right here. And I see a couple. There we go. Okay. Now, this is where the magic happens. The swipe. It's called the swipe. Um, we need the paper towels that are right there. Oh good, they're within reach. <laughs> yes. Paper towels. <laughs> Beauteous. Okay, now we need three sections. And what we do, you spray it with a paper towel, just the end. And what this does, it's going to give it some weight to slide over the paint. Okay. And what you're gonna do, we gotta move these cups out of the way because one thing when, when you swipe, you wanna make sure you got plenty of space and you don't feel constricted. Okay. You're going to basically like lay this in the white, mm -hmm. not down all the way, but you know, so there's like, so it's in the white and then you're gonna pull back with it. Okay. Now, one thing I am going to do, let me move this up a little bit for us. There we go. So, yep, just start up in the white. Okay, so I drop it here. Yep. Okay. That looks really cool. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I'm like really, I'm happy with it already. Well, wow. that's, it does, that's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, um, one thing we can do, see how it sells all up? Yeah. You're going to need to zoom in and do a close-up for the guys. Yeah, guys, I'll, uh, we'll do some B-roll footage in a second. Isn't that awesome? It is. That, wow. <laughs> Look at what you did. <laughs> You did art! <laughs> I did this! You did art! <laughs> um, I sometimes use a torch, like these areas here, 
Sometimes it makes some more cells pop up. Let's see, it's opening up some more cells here for us. Okay. Where'd you get the torch from? Amazon. You can get all your supplies pretty much on Amazon, except the flow trowel, because it's super expensive on Amazon. Okay. <laughs> well, um, we'll try to have all that linked in the description, guys, so you can... Uh... We'll have an entire supply list. You can surprise your girlfriends or your loved ones, your significant others, anybody in your life that you may be trying to impress, you can impress them with your art skills. They will be super, super, super thrilled if you, like, show up with a piece of art that you made them or do arts and crafts with them you could do naked painting just a thought guys there is an idea we couldn't show that on video <laughs> it's against youtube's policy we we could like edit out the the naked part the bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe maybe next episode yeah, okay <laughs> next time again guys if you want to see that drop a like and in the comments. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. I should just open mouth, insert foot. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, doesn't that come out awesome? Yeah. And then what we'll do, this needs to dry for a couple days. It takes, it takes literally like three to four days to fully dry. So um, you definitely want to do this like somewhere where you can leave it for a few days. Like, don't do it on your kitchen counter that you're gonna need to like, utilize. Make cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, but once this is dry, we'll get the bat emblem and we will situate it somewhere up there. Well, you guys are gonna get to see that. We're gonna. Yeah. We'll be, it, it'll be a clothed episode. <laughs> well... <laughs> We'll finish this one up clothed, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it would just be too awkward to just, you know. Just to strip naked halfway through. Yeah, we, we, ha uh, we have to finish it with clothes on. Um, <laughs> it's the OCD in me, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but next time. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. <laughs> That's a wrap. All right. Uh. Bam. All right, guys. So this is what I did. You did good. Get get real close. Good. Zoom right in. Let them see all those beautiful cells. Check that out, guys. It's a piece of work. It's a piece of art. <laughs> As you can see, I don't know if it's showing up, but it kind of looks like uh, I have a red tint on camera, but it, that's white, guys. So. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Came out good. Good, good, good job for your first time. Thank you, thank you. And through the magic of video editing. We're here at Chris's place. <laughs> we are in the dude bunker. And we're going to finish this. This is all dry now. Now, Sarah, what am I supposed to do? Well, what we're going to do first, because this is dry and we can flip it over. I'm gonna have you put the hanger in it first. Okay. Um, because once we get more paint on here, you're not gonna wanna flip it back over. So gotcha. we'll do the hanger first, then um, we're gonna paint this, and then we're gonna put Batman. <laughs> we're gonna place the vinyl cutout there and uh, yeah. That, that, that'll be it. So we'll start here. Okay. Um, this is gonna be the top part, so you wanna place the sawtooth hanger middle-ish. Middle-ish? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that looks good. That looks middle-ish and... Okay. You are secure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. I should throw it for effect. Like, we don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> um, 
Now we use two different shades of red in this. So I brought both. Okay. I'm not sure which one you want to paint with. We've got a darker red or a brighter red. We'll go with the darker red. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think that looks very cool. Okay, we'll start with that. And we may need more. This paintbrush um, and paintbrushes, I usually get them at Michael's. You can use El Cheapo ones from like Walmart, but the problem is sometimes you'll lose bristles and that's the last thing you want in your painting is bristles. <laughs> Definitely, you don't want bristles in there. Although it's art. It's never well, incorrect. Yeah, it could be hairy art. But we'll find some good ones and they will be linked in the description. You can find them on Amazon. Yeah, of course, you can find everything on Amazon. Yes. <laughs> so, paint away. Um, yeah, place this wherever it is easiest for you. Okay. And yeah, so wherever you want, you want the bat placed here, we leave. And then up, you would do red. <laughs> okay. All right. So I haven't painted any of the edges. Nope. But I did paint, I think I got everything. Yeah, okay. no, you did everything good. It's nice, good coat, perfect. Thank so you. now with the edges, and usually what I do, I go this way, instead of going back and forth. Okay. Just cause it seems to just be easier. And it Typically, I would let this dry, but... We could do that. We could let it dry, or we can just put it on. I mean, it's really not gonna make, it's not gonna hurt it at all, because actually, it might actually help it adhere a little bit. Really? But okay. You're the expert. No, I'm really not yeah, the expert. Yeah, you are. Um, I'm the expert at like this part. <laughs> um, putting vinyl on painting is, is brand new to me. <laughs> So you're kind of my guinea pig. Yeah, but you're the expert because mm -hmm. you're... Am I on here as the expert? It's going to say that now yeah. in the description. <laughs> How about Sarah, not the expert? No. <laughs> um, it's my show. I'm going to make it look good Okay. For me. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it, if, it's going to actually... If, if we let it dry. We, we could wait for it to dry a little bit. Okay, we could do that. And we'll come back with, through the magic of painting. We could do that. Um, what about a hair dryer? Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. Okay. Yeah, that would definitely speed up the process a little bit. Okay. So, in the amount of time it took to get the blow dryer and to plug it in, this is probably dry. <laughs> but... <laughs> It looks like there's still some wet areas. Yeah. So we're good. I, I still see wet areas. Yes. So we are using the Babeless Pro Nano Titanium. Okay, this will be linked in the description as well. Not only is it good for hair, but it's good for drying your paintings. Who knew? Multi, multitasking uh, here. Yes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I would definitely use a cooler setting. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna switch it to cool. Should be like high powered, low powered? I think high power is good. That should do it. We should have tested to make sure this could come on before we yeah. <laughs> start. But... We should probably like straighten this line out because I can see that it, it's starting to. That's awesome. It's definitely a lot drier than it was. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. There's still some tacky parts there, but I think that's good enough to we'll go over a few more minutes. Yeah, let's go over it a few more minutes. I heard anything. <laughs> 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 
blow drying my painting. Yeah. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay. Oh yeah. Sweet. Is it hot? No. We were using cold air. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so now we can put the vinyl on. Um, Ta-da! Now with vinyl, typically you would have like transfer tape you would use um, to pull the design off and then put it on. But with it being so big, I think just placing it by hand is going to be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Um, so all you'll do is we'll peel it off and then place it down. And you may want to adjust yourself or the painting just so you're dead on. So you can make sure you, you have it centered where you want it. Because once it goes down... I don't know how easily it will come back up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things, it's a one-shot deal, so have fun. Oh! <laughs> have fun with that, Chris! Well, thank you, expert. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can handle it. You paint lines for a living, so, <laughs> I mean, you're precise. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Precision is key. So yeah, and then... Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll hold his ears up. You know what would be a good idea? We should probably measure exactly. You've got a quarter of an inch on either side. Yeah, but I mean then kind of like measure it here too. So then this way we know what we're doing. <laughs> so put a little mark, get what I'm saying? No, I'm confused. So it's supposed to be 11 and a half, you said? Yeah. Okay. And this is 12. So then we'd like put a little mark. Oh, so a quarter your... of an inch? Yeah. You can't eyeball a quarter of an inch? <laughs> <laughs> I deal with feet. I'm sorry. You true. You do. <laughs> okay. My, my brain just went elsewhere. <laughs> Actually, you could probably do it with that one. I could probably get it with this. Ooh, oh. This one is a little bit smaller. Yeah. Man, we still see a little bit of a line there. Very awesome. Show them. Ah! Chris is so well rounded. <laughs> I make art now. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came out good. I, I think it came out really good. I think it came out better than good. I think it came out amazing. Amazing balls. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll uh, do a couple little touch-ups, but I think you I can think get that you did. Film too. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Good. That's amazing. Voila! Good job, Chris. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me. Yeah, you pretty much did this all on your own from start to finish. So I think it came out great. Look at that. All we got to do, oh, you got to sign it. And that is using a metallic Sharpie because the metallics will write over anything. <laughs> Now it's complete. It was oh. fun teaching art. And uh, we'll definitely, we'll have to do another one. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, if you'd like to see more, yeah. let us know. Yeah, definitely. In the comments. <laughs> okay, I think that's going to wrap this up. Uh, is there anything else? That... No. Where, where can the guys find you? Uh, at home. Yeah, I just am at home. I
So her address will be listed <laughs> in the description. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I have Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I have Facebook. Okay. But I don't date, so I don't want any <laughs> any any people like that. <laughs> okay. So, that, sorry guys. Sorry. I mean, I'm not a lesbian or anything either, but I just I, I'm just <laughs> not that there's anything wrong. Can we just cut that whole part out right there? <laughs> You can find me on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to sign off. We will catch you next time, guys. Peace. Have a nice night.